I'm Karen, and I'm the Executive Director of Forward Ever Sustainable Business Alliance here in New Jersey. I guess we have some fans in the uh, audience, and I thank you for that. And I'm just really glad to be able to come here and share a little bit more about the excitement of localism and the excitement of bringing together all different kinds of systems, ecosystems, and making sure that they're connected. Today, I come. I came a little late, but I've witnessed three wonderful women talking about sustainability as it relates to holistic living and yourself and making sure that you're medically and your wellness and all these kinds of things are sustainable within yourself. What I'm here to talk about is sustainability as it relates to localism and entrepreneurship. And so I found this great picture here and it's about being a part of a community that shares a common vision and purpose. And the one thing I wanted to talk about, about Newark, I'm a native, born here, raised in East Orange, and one thing that seems to be very, um, something I hear often is about the trials and tribulations and challenges of Newark. Well, I'm here to say that's true. We did have a riot. We do have some challenges, but here we're ready to move forward, ever. Right? We're here to talk about how do we overcome those kinds of challenges, and how do we collectively support one another to do that. So, as we see here, well, as a localist, and I'm calling you all, you all are now localists. As a localist committed to your community, which is why you're here today, we do not wait for the government. Yeah. We don't wait for anyone to do what we need done. We think together, we work together, and we work collectively and cooperate so that we don't have to rely on anyone but ourselves. Next slide, please. Now, people always talk about our name, so I want to talk about that up front. Forward ever, where'd that come from? Does anyone know? Forward ever, backward never. So I want, when I say forward ever, I want you guys to say backward never. Forward ever, backward never. Forward ever, backward never. That's where we are never going, backward never, as a community in Newark. We are here to promote and to agree with the wonderful teachings of Kwame, Brother Kwame, Brother Malcolm, Brother Marcus, about Pan-Africanism and stressing the need for collective self-reliance. We have to rely on ourselves collectively. We can rely on ourselves and we can build the future that we deem appropriate for Newark, New Jersey, today and together. Next slide, please. So again, I'm here representing For Whatever Sustainable Business Alliance, and For Whatever is the first urban affiliate of Bali, that wonderful video we saw earlier, we are the first urban affiliate. There are 80 Bali networks across the nation, in Vancouver, and we had a wonderful time in Buffalo this past week with people that I've met that I can't even tell you countless stories of what they're doing in their communities to ensure that they no longer have to go backward. So, what we do as a business alliance is that we bridge the gap and we connect the small business community to the invaluable resources they need to thrive, not just sustain themselves, but to thrive in the city of Newark. Next slide, please. So our mission is to provide a network for local independently owned businesses that facilitate cooperative promotion, purchasing, rebuilds local supply chains and food systems and leads to buy local campaigns. And our vision is to build dynamic collaborations. That's what it's about, building collaborations. We do not have to do it alone. As long as we, as a collective, decide that we have a vision and a common purpose, we can build upon that together. Next slide, please. So why? Why is localism important? I know a lot of people may think, well, it's obvious. Some people say that it's not obvious. Well, the obvious, the most obvious thing is money. So when you invest and you support a locally owned business, you spend $100 in that local business. $68 of that money stays in our economy. What does that mean? $68 more in our economy. 
I'm going to tell you in a moment. Best is when you spend it with the chain. 43 only stays in our economy. So what's the difference? What does that mean? That means more police officers on our streets. Maybe we can hire some back. Maybe we can hire some more firefighters to come back into our community. Maybe we would have more people involved in our community because they know that we have a local presence, a local priority, and so therefore, with this burgeoning tech market coming into Newark, with these wonderful urban farming um, initiatives going on all over Newark, with all the wonderful things that are happening in Newark as it relates to our Newark pride, what's important here in Newark, we need to understand that Keeping the money in our community, farms, schools, employees, hiring, keeping all of that here in Newark sustains Newark. Next slide, please. Why? Creating a local economy requires behavior change. Of course, we all know how we love change. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, what I'm going to suggest is that we take it one step at a time. Okay, changing behavior isn't easy, but when we have a well-executed local first priority, we can have a profound impact. Collectively, we are the change agents, and it is up to us, to each community, each person, to make a small shift. So I'm asking today to make a small shift in what you're doing. So if you were previously going to buy your cards or gifts at the right age, like many of us do, why not go to an artist that is making cards or go to an event like this or many of the events that happen throughout the city, there's all kinds of festivals. There's a Maggie Brown in town making cards. There's, um, there are all kinds of wonderful leaders in our community that sell wonderful gift items and we can make that small shift by keeping that money in Newark. Can we commit to that? Yeah. 10%, yes. just 10%. I'm not saying you can't go to shop right anymore or you can't do those kinds of things because we have to live. And we don't have a local, a completely local, huge shop right store in our community, although we do have the question mark. Yeah. Right? Which is the first organic, happens to be woman owned and African American owned store in North New Jersey, and they're right on Broad Street. On the table. They're right on Broad Street. Thank you, Cass. <laughs> Cass is our local ambassador, and we love her. <laughs> um, next slide, please. So, I want to just kind of leave you all with prosperity for all. Do-it-yourself entrepreneurs. Making sure that you're supporting our entrepreneurs. Making sure that you understand that local first means more money in Newark, making Newark a priority, keeping our brand at the, at the top of your mind. Shift 10% of your spending to a local business, support the small businesses, foster better service. And all of this creates more living wage jobs, it helps our environment. Please help support our community groups. I, one uh, person earlier said that they would like us to make sure even if you get one dollar, this is right here, support another initiative. You'd be surprised that one dollar will come back to you tenfold. Not that, not that that is the only reason why you're doing it. And then embrace our unique community because when you do embrace localism, you're embracing the flavor of your community, and you allow the flavor of the community to come out. Next slide, please. My last call to action for you is to join our movement. It's a call to action. We are here to be that umbrella for all the services, all the resources that are available to entrepreneurs. There are countless technical assistance organizations. There are urban farming <coughs> movements. There are so many things that are going on in the government, in our local government. We're at the head of the table, our organization. We launched six months ago. We've already been asked to go to Harvard. We went to, we, both Kimberly and I spoke on a panel yesterday. 
uh, day before yesterday, excuse me, where we were talking about talking to people in different parts of the country and beyond about how to diversify their networks and make it more inclusive of people that look like you and I. They were eager to hear that information because they didn't know how to approach their minority communities, but they wanted to include them. So we told them, we gave them simple steps. We said, go find a cat in your community and make her your champion. Don't be afraid. Invite them to invite you to their things. It's not about the other way around. It's about making sure everyone feels valued in their place, in their space, the way they speak, the way they live. So join our movement. For Whatever is a movement. Are you an entrepreneur, a community organizer, no matter who you are? We have a, a free business directory. By clicking on forwhateverinj.com and logging in, you become a supporter immediately. You get to know about all the events we have. And you increase your visibility if you are a local business by listing your business on that directory. And you can also list your events for free on the directory so that we're all included in what everyone is doing. So those two systems that we're here today, go to our site. Put your events on our, on our uh, page. Tell us about your movement. Tell us about your 12-month program. I think that's my last slide. I want to leave you with one video. And I just want you to, I just want to thank you for having me. And um, I'm going to let her play this video. for all of us that we continue what we're doing. We continue to support business owners who are acting responsibly and giving back to their communities through their businesses. We continue to help aspiring business owners to gain an ownership stake in our economy. We continue a discussion with the public on why it matters how they spend their money. And we continue um, forging toward an economy that's different, one that um, values every person, one that considers the environment, and one that considers folks uh, well-being. Well, we're actually doing it. When we have to put in the time and the effort and really be about it to be committed, then we all get to enjoy it. It's partly a philosophy or a worldview of abundance that there is enough for all if we're willing to share. Having a place for everybody to be able to offer their own gifts for every person to be able to reach their full potential. It's about including everyone in the great feast of life. The opportunity for everyone to be able to define, uh, define their own success. We have a spirit of generosity infusing our society and that we don't operate from a scarcity mentality. A future that is inclusive of people and places regardless of what their past may be or what their future may look like at the present moment.